Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will continue with our place value section. This is part two in the 2019 Star Math Test Prep Workbook for fourth graders. Have you purchased your workbook yet? If not, no worries. There will be a link in the description box where you can go and purchase a copy for $15.99. Remember, fourth graders, if you can dream it, you can do it. Let's get started. Question number four says, a bag of snack mix weighs eight and nine one hundredths ounces. That's a tongue twister. What decimal is equivalent to eight and nine one hundredths? And remember, the hundredths that I'm saying has a THS at the end. Our first important question is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the decimal that is equivalent to eight and nine one hundredths. What information can help us find the answer? When turning a mixed fraction into a decimal, and remember fourth graders, this is a mixed fraction. It has a whole number and also a fraction. This makes it a mixed fraction or a mixed number. The whole number will appear on the left of the decimal while the fraction part will appear on the right side of the decimal. What we did was we broke up our whole number Eight plus nine one hundredths. This does not change the value the value of the fraction in any way. It stays the same. All we did was show that there is an addition sign in between the whole number and the fraction. We highlighted the whole number eight in blue or indigo or whatever color it is just to make sure that as we're going through the slides we keep track of it and if you notice the 8 is on the left hand side of the decimal we don't know the fraction part yet but we've highlighted our question mark in pink to keep to keep track of that as well how do we solve the problem okay we know we have our 8, which is on the left-hand side of the decimal. Now we need to take care of our fraction and convert it into a decimal, 9 one hundredths. To write 9 one hundredths as a decimal, we have to divide the numerator by the denominator of the fraction. Since we are dividing by our power of 10, and 100 is a power of 10, all we need to do is move the decimal place by how many zeros we have. Since we have how many zeros in 100? Exactly, we have two. So what we need to do is move our decimal two places to the left, and that's what we've done. We took our nine, the decimal place is at the end, we move it two places to the left, and we have 0 0.09. Now that zero wasn't there at first, but there's nothing there. And zero is like a placeholder because it's nothing, okay? So 0 0.09. What is the correct answer? Well, what we need to do is just put it all together. Can you tell me what the decimal equivalent of eight and nine one hundredths is? If you said 8.09, high five, you are correct. Once we moved our decimal place two places to the left, all we had to do is put our, our fraction part of the decimal on the right hand side of the the decimal place, okay? Of the decimal, I mean. Good job. Let's move to question number five. Question number five says, Kate's pen is 13.7 centimeters long. Which mixed number is equivalent to 13.7? F, 
13 and 1 7 G 13 and 1 70 H 13 and 7 tenths J 13 and 7 one hundredths what's our most important question to ask for ask first what are we looking for can you tell me what we're looking for yes we are looking for what the mixed number the mixed number that is equivalent to 13.7 what information can help us find the answer this question is kind of similar to the one we did for uh, problem number four the difference is it's kind of in reverse now we have the decimal and we need to convert it into a fraction okay when turning a decimal into a mixed fraction the number to the left of the decimal is a whole number remember we talked about that in problem number four so 13 is the whole number we highlighted it in blue and the number to the right of the decimal is the fraction part so again 13 is our whole number and now all we need to do is find what the fraction is of the 7 that's on the right hand side of the decimal point how do we solve the problem in order for us to solve this problem we have to look at what place it's in if we look the place value of the 7 is in the tenths place, T-E-N-T-H-S. It's in the tenths place. Since it's in the tenths place, that means it's 1 over 10. So what we are going to do in order to find out what the fraction is, we are going to multiply 7 times 1 tenth. And if you look at the bottom right hand corner, that's exactly what we have done. Now. You may be thinking to yourself, Miss Shay, how can I multiply a whole number and a fraction? Remember, in order to convert a whole number into a fraction, all you need to do is put a 1 as the denominator. So 7, we started off with 7 as our whole number. We convert it into a fraction, which is 7 over 1 times 1 tenth. We multiply our numerators, 7 times 1 is equal to 7, and we multiply our denominators, 1 times 10 is equal to 10. So our answer is 7 tenth. And if you look on the left hand side, we have 13, remember that's our whole number, plus 7 tenths, which is our fraction. What is the correct answer? Now that we know what our mixed number is, let's look at our answer choices to see which one is correct. Can you tell me which answer choice is correct? If you said H, you are absolutely right. H is 13 and 7 tenths, which is what we have. Great job. Let's move to question number six. Question number six says, this model is shaded to represent one whole. Zach drew a model that was shaded to represent 0 0.53 or 53 hundredths. Remember, hundredths has a THS at the end. Which model could Zach have drawn? Okay, so in looking at our model, we see our model, and then we see our answer choices. What's the first thing we need to ask ourselves? If you said, what are you looking for? You are absolutely correct. Key question. The next question is, oops, we are looking for the model that represents 5300 
shaded. Remember, we're looking for the 5300 shaded, okay? What information can help us find the answer? Okay, to find the answer of this problem, number one, we need to know that the model that's on the left-hand side, that is a hundred block. And each individual block equals one. Okay, that's information we need to know. And also, we need to know, again, that we are looking for the shaded part, 53 hundredths. I converted it into a fraction. It's 53 over 100. How do we solve the problem? In order to find to solve this problem, what we need to do is find the model, the answer choice that models 5300 shaded. Let's look at answer choice A. Remember, the model on the left-hand side represents the 100 block, okay? So looking at A, that looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, five hundred blocks, and then um, it has tens, and three of the tens are highlighted. Looking at B, it has two hundred blocks, and for these, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five columns shaded on the left hand side the hundred block on the left hand side and then three columns that are shaded on the right hand side on the block that's on the right hand side let's look at c c has one two three four five block hundred blocks shaded and then three one unit blocks d d looks like a hundred blocks and it has one, two, three, four, five columns shaded, and then there are three other blocks shaded in the next column. What is the correct answer? Okay, in looking at all of the blocks, all of the answer choices, I apologize, looking at all of the answer choices, which do you think is the correct answer? Take your time. No need to rush. Let's just talk about each answer choice again to make sure we understand. So first of all, we know that the model is a 100 block, okay? Looking at A, A has one, two, three, four, five hundred blocks, and then it has a, a block, a hundred block, but it's in columns, and three is three tens basically that are shaded. For B, B has 200 blocks. In the 100 block on the left, there are one, two, three, four, five columns shaded. And on the block on the right hand side, there are one, two, three columns shaded. Let's look at C. C has one, two, three, four, five hundred blocks, and then three one unit blocks shaded. D, it's just 100 block. There are one, two, three, four, five full columns shaded. And then for that next column, they only have three blocks shaded. Now that we went over each answer choice again, what do you think is the correct answer? If you said D, you are absolutely correct. So for A, that's really 530 blocks that are shaded. B, it's 80 blocks that are shaded. C, 503 blocks that are shaded. D, 53 blocks are shaded. And again, D is our correct answer. And that is it. We have finished part two of our place value section. Do you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? If you do, and you have a fourth grader or you're in fourth, fourth grade, tell your parents 
that we will be having a 2019 Star Math Test Prep Boot Camp Saturday, February 16th, 9 to 12 p.m., March 16th, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., March 23rd, 1 30 to 4 30, April 27th, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., Sunday, May 5th, 1 30 to 4 30 p.m. at the Conference Suites in Arlington. We are going to have a great time. There will be fun games, competitions while having learning math and preparing for the STAR math test. I would like to also let you know that Hype Math has an, will begin an online tutoring, will have online tutoring beginning the second week of January. We have a buy one, get one offer. You buy one scheduled session, you get the second one 50% off. All of the information will be in the description box, also for the boot camp as well. And lastly, I would like to let you know that we will be having online math review and test math, state math test prep courses for math students in third grade up to Algebra 1 beginning in January. In the comfort of their home or wherever they are, students will be able to log on to the course and get essential math skills, be able to review, relearn, or uh, receive reinforcement while building a strong foundation in their grade level math skills, but also being able to prepare for their state math test. And don't forget, if you haven't purchased your workbook yet, click the link in the description box so that you can grab one and be able to follow along for the next video. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. Talk to you soon.